a recap of the 2018 offseason so far, June 27, 2018. Jody Meek signed $3.5 million player option for 2018-19. He's on the Wizards. The Wizards won that good last year. Outside of John Wall and especially Bradley Beal and our reporter Jr. Jody Meeks won't contribute much. He's on the decline. I wouldn't be surprised if he was garbage time. 76ers exercised fourth year options on TJ McConnell with Sean Holmes 2018-19. Holmes said some of his greatness. I don't know if he's like an all-star. Let me see. I, don't, I can't find the article that says how much the options are. They were, they were probably could start waving them if they could get like LeBron, but I don't know if they're going to do that. They already re-signed Brett Brown and a bunch of other stuff. Tisha McConnell looked pretty good in the postseason, according to critics. He looked a lot better than Ben Simmons, both for triple double machines. McConnell's better shot wise, especially in that semifinals versus the Boston Celtics. Nuggets Darrell offer exercise a $7.4 million player option 2018 to 19. A little bit, it's an okay deal, not the greatest, not the worst. Um, I don't think he's that great of a player. Could really hurt. Orlando Magic, power forward, center, Maurice Spates, center Chinese team. Let me see which one it is. David Pick, announced that from International Grass School. Let me see if that's a good. He's not even verified, so I don't even know if it's true. Guangzhou Long Lions. Deal, I don't even know what the deal went through. Well, I would like it if he went to the Nets. Uh, tough player, can post up. He's he's old, but like, shoot the three, great off the bench, if anything else. Hope to go see Warriors, get that wonderful record. The Long Lions have also been signed by. Tyler Han have also signed Tyler Hansborough. I mean, he was on a great team last year, or at least in that first month. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't really a great team, but they had, they had a great first month with Vucevic, Gordon, and everyone else shooting threes. Spates and the Spur player probably helped out a lot too. I mean, even though. You had Danny Green sign his player option. At least Rudy Gay declined his. Maybe he'll sign for a veterans minimum with the Spurs. Maybe he'll go somewhere else and they'll get another player. Maybe Rudy Gay will join the Golden State Warriors. You never know. Uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Ring chasing. Uh, Boston Celtics. Toronto Raptors. Even though he didn't do that well the first time, maybe he'll do better with the Nick Nurse as coach. Uh, I think that's about it. Maybe he can join the LeBron James and the Lakers or something. Uh, Knicks, power forward center Kyle Quinn declines. 2018 and 19 player options to become unrestricted sure free agent. He's a center, so that could do go very well. This is June 20th. Tough guy, a lot of energy, rebounds, can occasionally shoot the three, good inside presence, lacks size. I told you about Dwight Howard, uh, I was talking about Austin Rivers, oh, yeah, Austin Rivers. Uh, Wilson Chandler opts into $12.8 million player option, 2018-19. Good role player, can score like 30 points if need be, gets injured, not really good defensively, not as good as Jokic. kick. Um, very expensive, not really tradable. Uh, sort of a bad op, sort of a bad situation for the Nuggets for that one. Bello signs twenty-seven point. I'm going to get into that later. Magic Wave, Shelvin Mack. Uh, he was not good. He's like garbage time player. Makes sense. Celtics sign Euro League guard Brad Wanamaker. He was highly sought out by everyone last year. I guess you can finally get signed. Undrafted, good choice. Pacers declined 2018-19 option on Lance Stevenson. I wish I knew how much these options were when they say decline. Uh, Stevenson did all right last year. He helped him a lot off the bench. Maybe they'll resign him for cheaper. So we'll yoke it later.
Mavericks tender qualifying offer to Yogi Ferrell. I mean, I guess they're not signing LeBron, so why not? Um, they have plenty of guards. I forgot who else they got this year. Who did they get from the draft? I can't remember off the top of my head. Got a few people there, like Brunson, Trump, or who else. Jazz extended qualifying offers to Dante Exum, Raul, Neto, and his Nan. Exum, I remember Neto was alright. Um, I mean, they don't have the. So, except the. Uh, they don't have the match, but like, I don't think these players are that good. Where is it? Tender qualifying after Patrick McCall, great player, could really be helpful if anybody. Lit Young Vo could use a couple more years of age. Trouble is extend qualifying after the use of Nurkic. We have a match, we have too much to let him walk. Mavericks will withdraw s small forward. Doug Windows qualifying ever. Weird because they got him. Was the point of the trade? I don't know. Lakers extend qualifying after the Julius Randle. Julius Randle. A lot of people have him like top 10 for years. I don't know if I'm that high, but like, he can play. Couple help the team out. Cavs extend qualifying offer to Ronnie Hood. He's pretty terrible on the Cavs. I, I'm pretty sure if he wanted to, he'd rather go somewhere else, but Kodrick wise he'll stay with the Cavs. It has some flashes of greatness in the postseason, but like, they didn't really use him that well. He's better on the Jazz. We're just going to 30 points a game. Very fast, like, I'm subscribed.